Hi there, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today we're talking about self-sabotage. Are you doing it on purpose? Why are you doing it? <laughs> and how can we release it? So self-sabotage is just kind of like a cloak and dagger form of resistance. Most of the time you don't really know you're doing it except for that, you know, one percent who knows exactly that they're doing it and they pull the trigger or the, or the plug on whatever it is that they're asking for. I hope that's not you. <laughs> um, so when we look at self-sabotage, we want to start from the beginning when it when you first started manifesting what you desired. So there are three steps to manifestation. Ask, believe, receive. So you ask for the manifestation that you're asking for, whatever it is that you're trying to create. It's already answered. You have to believe, right? Step two, believe that it's already answered. It's already taken care of for you and it's on its way to you. And then three, the only thing that you have to do is get your vibration in alignment with receiving that of which you've asked for. And that's usually where everybody gets tripped up is in number three. And when we get to that point where it's on its way and you're starting to see signs that it's coming through, what happens is panic sets in, right? Because this is now going to possibly change everything that um, you're experiencing. You could change your life, your relationship, your money, your job. And for some people, that's really scary. And if you're not in alignment with it, right, it's not going to come in, right? You're going to resist it. You might even self-sabotage it, pull the plug on it. Sometimes if you're not in that zone of readiness, you'll just find yourself in that waiting zone, waiting and waiting. It's like the universe is trying to send it to you, but you're still not in that vibrational alignment to receive it. But when you are and it's on its way and you see it coming, resistance happens. You go into fear. You go into resistance. You go into self-sabotage. And then what happens is it doesn't come. And what do you end up doing? You go back to the beginning and you ask for the same thing again. And then you believe it's coming, it's received, and you do the whole process all over again. So technically, you could be self-sabotaging yourself for years on the same thing if you're not getting your vibration in alignment for that which is coming. So when you are in that mode of receiving, when you've made that ask, when you've set that desire out, the process that you do want to get into is getting ready for it to come, readying your vibration, altering your thoughts, alter altering your feelings to match the vibration of what you're asking for. When you are in that mode of resistance, you'll be able to tell immediately. You'll feel constriction around it. It might show up in your body. It might show up in your thoughts. Like immediately when you think of something, right? Or you think of that desire. And in that moment, you it pops into your head like some negative self-defeating thought. That's the issue that's around the blocking the resisting or the piece that's going to self-sabotage you. So for example, um, let's say you're manifesting money, right? You ask, you believe, you see it starting to come through and then you think about it and it's like, well, you can't make that kind of money doing this kind of job. Poof, right? Then the whole thing stops, right? That's the energy that's working in the background that's stopping you, that self-sabotages you, that causes that resistance in your body because there is somewhere within your energy, within your thoughts, within your vibration that believes that, that quote, that belief, that thought, okay? It's still there. So it causes a little bit of resistance. You'll end up self-sabotaging yourself because now you just bought into that thought and it's like a snowball, right? You start with one thought and then that thought, if you let that get out of hand, will snowball down the hill until you now have 30 thoughts that reinforce that entire belief system. There, That means that you're not in that vibrational ready state to receive what it is that you've asked for. So you're now in this kind of low vibe zone, right? And you're looking at your manifestation going, it didn't show up and now I have to ask for it again and you go through the process all over again. So how do we 
clean up your vibrational alignment in order to be in that receiving mode. Well, number one, you have to have some awareness, some insight about your thought patterns and what you're feeling and what your vibrational alignment is. You have to kind of what we would consider clean it up a little bit, counteract it, catch it, right? So when you're asking for whatever desire it is, you have to then be aware of what comes up in your thought patterns, in your vibration around it. So if you're asking for something and there's fear around it, you're going to resist. If you're asking for something and you have a belief that comes up that, you know, comes into your awareness during that time of asking, you have to be aware of that. Otherwise, you're just going to keep going into this cycled pattern of ask, believe, not receive and start the whole thing all over. So when you are manifesting, you do one of two things to help clean up that vibration. Number one is try to counteract your thoughts be aware of your beliefs and start dismantling them is what we would call them. There are plenty of processes and tools um, that law of attraction employs that you can start repatterning these beliefs. And even if you're asking and these pieces are coming up, if you're working on that vibrational alignment, each time that you do some work around it, you bump up in vibration, which means you get closer and closer to what it is that you're asking for. The second piece that you can do is we do do energy work around it. We don't focus on the blocks, but if you know that there's something that pops up and you're like, oh my gosh, as soon as I asked for this, this thought popped up. That's a time in which that we can pull energy and then reprogram it. So the next time you're trying to manifest something, just keep in mind, you've asked for it, it's already on its way, and now it's your job to get into that vibrational alignment in order to receive it. Be aware of the thoughts and beliefs that come up and then counteract them, refocus them, or pull them and reprogram them. That will get your manifestations back on track, get you into vibrational alignment and become an energetic match to what it is that you're asking for. We hope that you found that to be helpful. Let us know in the comments below and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.